out of the Space Hulk and onto the tabletop, the Gene Stealers have arrived. Hi there, Chris here with another unboxing for you all. In this video, we are going to continue our look at unboxing the new Tyranids for 10th edition Warhammer 40,000. Yes, they have finally arrived. The new updated Gene Stealers for the Tyranids. This box is 10 Citadel miniatures. They don't say the Citadel part no more, do they? Big thank you to Games Workshop for sending me a review copy of this box. Big thank you to my patrons for their continued support. And a big thank you to all the members who've been joining here on YouTube as well. So we're looking at this new box. Let's have a look at the back of the box. Bag of the box is 10 Citadel miniatures, gene stealers, and we can do them. They have many various poses. And I honestly thought for many, many years that they would just simply recycle the gene stealers and such that we saw out of the old or the last edition of Space Hulk, which had really great poses. And some of these are a little bit reminiscent of them, not quite, but you know, somewhat reminiscent. Like this one here kind of reminds me of like one of them. And you know, anyway, I really enjoy that we also get a variants of the gene stealers. We have the, uh, the uh, Dr. Zoidberg version of them, as well as the classic gene stealer look. And, you know, with Gene Steelers, I'm glad that they haven't really changed the design all that much. They've obviously tightened up the details, and of course, you know, we're working with new posing and things of that nature, but, um, yeah, I'm just glad that they they still look like Gene Steelers. Like, if even if you have an old collection of models, these Gene Steelers are not going to feel out of place right next to them. Unless, of course, the scale's really way off on them, but, I mean... With them, uh, I don't think it's really necessary that they get bigger or smaller, but, you know, who knows, right? Anyway, enough gum flapping from me. Let's dive in. I'm going to grab the Bleed of Destiny here, and let's dive in to this box and have a sniff around. Oh, yeah, let's bust open the cellophane. Oh, this is my favorite part of these unboxings. I live for this. I Some of you might be thinking that he's crazy, but no, this is, this is the part that I just live for. I... Oh, listen to that. That's what I live for. The sound of crinkling cellophane. Plastic wrap, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so let's have a look. Uh, so the squad, uh, the box is the same size as like a regular squad box for, you know, Age of Sigmar and uh, Warhammer 40,000. We have the instruction booklet. And with this instruction booklet, it feels, it doesn't feel too dense. And uh, we're looking at 10 32 mil bases, three frames. Got <laughs> Gene Stillers look like they're mostly arms. Pretty straightforward assembly. Oh, I like that the arms are all separate. And I wonder if you're, if you're able to pose them whichever way. Doesn't quite look like it. Looks like they're keyed. Oh, there's a few head options. Regular tongue. Looks like the little barbed hook. And then the, uh, the Zoibergs. Uh, the Yimgarl. That's what they're called. The Yimgarl. There we go. Doesn't look like everybody gets it. Uh, is the uh, spiky tongue thing uh, only like an option? Because I see he's got the spiky tongue option as well. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Oh man, I really like these things. Man. Oh yeah, look at spiky tongues. I think I like, I prefer the classic look. Although the Zoidberg heads are hilarious. But um, yeah, I think I prefer uh, the classic look to Genesis. I don't know, maybe it's just because I played too much Space Hulk back in the day. But yeah, really, really cool. Got our bases. And then we have three frames. Now uh, we'll have a closer look at the frames here in a moment. Pretty darn cool. Yeah, they look like they're about the same size. You know, the bodies look a little bit bigger, a little bit more beefier. Look at the whole arm sprue of arms. <laughs> yeah, so let's have a closer look at these frames and possibly give them a sniff. You know, I don't, I don't know if you guys have been tuning in for this stuff for any length of time, but I kind of like to have a little bit of a sniff around and see what's what. So let's have a look. All right, so let's have a closer look here. I just grabbed any old frame and started filming. Got the, all the legs. Yeah, so the legs look like they are for specific points. I don't think we have a lot of choice on where the legs are going to go. I do like how the heads have different vibes. You know what? Look at the the, the tentacles. It's a little less Zoidberg-y, and it looks more like what we see on the Death Leaper. 
That is a very interesting detail. I like the look of the claws. Yeah, these bits are cool. Very, very cool. Gene Steelers. They're just so darn scary looking. They're scary. I'm scared. Aren't you scared? I'm scared. Yeah, see how like the, the tentacles look on the on the head? Yeah. That looks like the skirt of the Death Leaper. Very, very interesting. Yeah, because like before they always look kind of Zoidbergy, right? They're just like little tentacles dangling from his face. Whereas now they feel more, you know, like they're linking these little details, these little themes throughout the model, right? Let's have a look at this next frame. Yeah. Lots of arms. Yeah, see how the arms, they have like the keying. So they're only supposed to go in a certain way. They're not like a ball joint where they're wide open as far as like how you can place it onto the figure, which is fine. You know, especially if you're just going through and, you know, um, going through the assembly guide and just assembling them up. I'm sure every part is specific to a specific uh, figure. But yeah. Very, very cool. Really, really dig them. <laughs> I still like the Zoidberg head. It's fun. It's fun. It's a, you know, it is a bit of a callback to like something like Cthulhu or something along those lines, right? In the last frame here, we'll have a look at, oh yeah, look at the Gene Stiller heads. Oh yeah. I really, really, oh look at the little plate. I guess that's for the base or whatever. Yeah. See, I just like, I like the look of the regular head with just the tongue. It just feels more aggressive, you know, like the, the tentacle face is scary, but the, just the tongue sticking out is just a bit more aggressive. And, you know, and I don't know if that just comes from days of playing Space Hulk, but, you know, getting chased by something that looks really aggressive is scary, uh, especially when you're getting swarmed by a whole bunch of them versus you know tentacle face that feels more like something that's going to pop out of you the woodwork and you know scare you and you know make you jump kind of thing so yeah but i dig them that's just my thoughts on some of this oh you know what are those supposed to be like the venom sacks yeah see he's got the sacks on his face oh it's kind of reminded me of that scene of that movie there with hugh jackman and he had the uh the his venom sacks visible if you know what i'm talking about for anybody out there who doesn't know what i'm talking about look it up <laughs> yeah these are very very cool oh yeah we gotta do a sniff test <gasps> oh yeah smells like denim uh wasn't quite what i was expecting but i'll take it <laughs> all right back to the rest of the video so that's our look at the new Gene Stealers for 10th edition Warhammer 40,000 from the new Codex Tyranids. Wow, pretty darn cool. Big thank you to Games Workshop for sending me a review copy of this box. Big thank you to my patrons. Without your support, these videos are not possible. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody for their continued support, as well as all you brand new ones as well. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube, which you know, pretty much everybody is, memberships down below, click that, uh, you know, it helps the channel as well. If you're not able to support the channel by monetary means, i.e. money, thumbing up the video, liking, following, subscribing, commenting, ringing the bell, all help the channel as well. And all it takes is a couple clicks of a button and you're helping me out a great deal. And a huge thank you to everybody who takes the time to do that. Take care of your brushes, they'll take care of you, and I will see you in the next unboxing. Or useless review. Or painting tutorial. Maybe even a live stream. Maybe even a battle report. Oh, a battle report. Everybody's talking battle reports. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, bye.